Okay, what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to put these bonding strips on the lower windshield frame. What I'm doing now is I'm clamping them very tightly and they're going to go ahead and drill for the rivets. Pull the clamps off. Uh, they say to use the uh, 3M panel glue as a sealant and to help glue these on and rivet them. So I feel I'm going to clamp them all on first, get everything tight before I open the, the uh, 3M panel bonding stuff. So anyway, let's go. Let's do that. This paint's pretty shiny, glossy, so I'm going to rub this up a little bit right where the glue's going to go. So I feel it's going to adhere to this a little better. So yeah, I'm going to rub this up a little bit, sandpaper. What I'm going to do now is, uh, I've never used this air riveter, and before I start putting glue on the firewall or the bonding strips, I'm going to test this thing out see if it works. If it doesn't, I have a manual one. It worked very nice. You can see here real close up, it did a nice job on that rivet, nice and tight. So I feel comfortable using it. Okay, first time using this gun. The 3M gun for their glue. In there. That. Slide that on there like that and tighten this up. And you just start applying it. All right, it turned out pretty good. I got this side done. Looks pretty good, not too much excess glue. For this area here, you're just using the glue as a sealant and to help bond it a little bit. But on the original car, they just used actually a weatherproof sealant that really wasn't a bonding cement. But uh, Major Mitch said he's been using the 3M panel adhesive underneath this to help seal it and to help hold it on. So we have the driver's side done, so let's move on to the passenger side. Okay, I have both sides of the bonding strip on the lower windshield attached. The uh, air rivet gun my buddy let me borrow worked fantastic. Um, I tell you, I worried about this a little more than I should have when I was getting ready to do this. Actually, if you clamp all the bonding strips on and then drill the holes so that they're nice and tight against the lower window frame. And then when you put your glue on, you just basically put all the rivets in at once so they're all in the hole and then just start hitting your rivet gun and everything lines up. It looks good. Really happy with it. Well, I'm all ready. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this firewall on. Got everything prepped and cleaned. I'm going to, like the factory did, use some body sealer and put one of these shims at each spot. That's how it was when I took it off. So yeah, let's, let's get these body shims in place and get this thing glued on.
As you can see, I have the shins kind of glued in place here with some good old RTV, or some people would say sealant. Everything's ready to go. finally here where I put the firewall on. I'm real happy with the location. Had some issues with this being located left to right in the proper spot because I replaced this lower windshield and lined that up with the all the dash bolts which made this hole here off a little bit so I had to I should say make that more of an oval so that hole would match up because I had to move the firewall over in order to match up with the original holes and where the washers were in that original. You can see that washers right around the same rust ring of the old washer. So it's in the original location, which is what I was attempting to do. So yeah, real happy with this. I don't have the proper rivets. They're coming in Friday. So what I'm gonna do is throw a couple, these are three 16 rivets. I'm gonna throw a couple eighth inch tap con or self-tapping screws in there just to kind of hold this down while the glue dries. All my bolts are in place, my shims are in place. Yeah, I'm real happy, all my clamps, you can see. I didn't put any self-tapping screws. I was able to find a way to clamp everything across the floor. Uh, kind of use some bolts with some wood here through the dash. In here, I use a little tricky thing. I built a little block of wood that hooks into the existing bolt for the steering column and then clamps that upper corner that I couldn't get to. I was able to clamp these and this real good. Uh, yeah, that bolt right there, you see that carriage bolt goes through and hooks this piece of wood so it draws that panel in real tight. Really happy with this. You can see here a mess of clamps, but was able to get everything clamped properly. Yeah, real happy with this. Plenty of clamps across the top. So, hey, let's get some of these soft tapping screws in. Just to kind of secure this. Probably just put two or three in, but until my rivets come in, make sure this is held down in the proper position. All done. Got the tap. I put it in four screws just to hold it down till I get my rivets in as I told you so yeah pretty happy with this looking good I'll add a little bit more of the bonding cement underneath some of my clamps and stuff just to make sure I have a seal there but I have plenty of glue on there it was squeezing out pretty nice as you can see here on the inside it was squeezing out almost everywhere yeah real happy with this I'll probably do the rockers maybe Thursday. I'm going to let this set up real nice before I remove my clamps or anything and get my rockers in. Pretty exciting. Going back together, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I have all the 3M bonding adhesive on. I have it thick in some of the areas where I knew I needed it, like right there and right here going to be a bit of a mess, but uh, let's do this. Stick this thing in.
Okay, get it all in. I'm just gonna put a little bit of sealant in some places. I know I got, there's plenty of glue there, but I wanna make sure I have a waterproof seal, like right there, a couple places underneath. But the, for the most part, I had bonding adhesive come up both sides, which is a good sign. Yeah, pretty happy with this. Okay, let's go.